Outdoor with myself, David, on behalf of Trinity Sport. So hopefully you've been with me each and every week, kind of just end of the week off on your Friday, really smashing the, the midsection, abs, obliques, lower back, glutes. So we're back for another one this week. Um, and we've kind of gone with a similar theme to last week where we were kind of pairing exercises that really targeted an area. Um, so hopefully you feel some of the same feelings. They're different exercises, but you'll feel that really intense burn. Um, 30 seconds per exercise, and we're just kind of mashing them together. So 30 and 30, quick break, and then another 30 and 30. Uh, so to start off, we, all you need is a mat and a bit of space, and we're just gonna get two or three stretches to kind of get the area loose. Um, start with our shoulders and our back. So if you wanna come lengthways along your mat, so the knees are underneath the hips and the hands are underneath the shoulders, we're gonna start with our cat cow. We do it quite a lot, but it's a really, really good exercise. So take a deep breath in, and as you exhale, shorten the spine like so, Tuck the chin, tuck the hips, take a deep breath in, and then as you exhale, go out the far side. So really extending your abs, no tension in your abs here at all. Head up, tailbone sticking out, and again. Okay, so you can do go through that range of motion in your own time. Try to really elongate the spine, and then shorten the spine. Okay, one more time in each position. Everything from your tailbone to your head, folks. So make sure the full spine is moving. Now, when you're ready, bring it back to neutral. Nice straight back. So find neutral again. From here, we're going to do it laterally. So we've done this one before as well, where we go sideways like a dog wagging his tail. And then out the far side. So basically, you're lengthening one rib cage and shortening the other. So you get this nice stretch on the outside. So there's no forward and backwards movement. It's just side to side. Okay, and then our last one, I'll face you for this one. Just kneeling down, a couple of twists. Even if you wanted, you could do a pulse, like so. So twist and twist again, the same direction. Okay, because we have a few rotation exercises today. Twist and twist. Okay, so let's get started. You're going to be lying on your back, uh, feet are planted. First two exercises. This is your uh, first one, so hands start on the thighs. Okay, and you're going to round your knees with your hands. Now, in reality, what's happening here is you're pulling your shoulders up, which is what's going to switch the abs on. So this is the exercise. You take a deep breath in, exhale, and back down. Back down. Okay, so the hands going over the knees. It's just a visual way of you to realize how far you need to go up. What's really happening is the abs are contracting to pull you up. Okay, after that, you're going to extend one leg like so. You're going to come all the way up to meet that leg. So you'll watch my extended leg comes up, crunch in, and back down. You can put the hands anywhere you need to, to kind of stabilize that position, but you also have a bit of force going, to, going down through that bent knee, okay? But I'll talk you through that when we're there. So to start with, two legs bent, knees pointed up towards the ceiling. We're going for 30 seconds, just rounding those hands over the knees. Three, two, one, let's go. Exhale as you come up. Really small range here, folks. We're just pulling our shoulders, our head, maybe a little bit of our upper back up off the floor. And we're exhaling as we do now. Sometimes, because I'm talking, my breathing doesn't match up to what I'm saying. But hopefully, every time you're up, you're exhaling. And every time you're coming back down, you're inhaling for the next rep. All right, five seconds to go. Four, three, two, one. Okay, extend your right leg out. Left leg stays bent, knee pointing up to the ceiling. You are then going to lift the right knee up, bend it in as you come up with your upper body to meet it. Okay, ready? Let's go up. Crunch in, and back down. Up, crunch in, back down. So we're gonna do 15 seconds with that right leg. Gonna take no break, and go straight into the left leg. Three, two, and one. So bend the right leg, left leg goes down. Same idea, up, and back down. Really good work. Now this is quite a challenging exercise, folks. So take breaks if you need to, and use the bend knee. The bend knee is pushing down into the floor. Three, two, and one, relax. Maybe straighten both the legs out. Take about 10 seconds, or if you pause the video, you'll have more, but for now, just take about 10 seconds, let the abs recover a few deep breaths, and we're gonna revisit both of those exercises. The same position, just repeat that minute of exercise. So when you're ready, feet flat on the floor, two knees pointed up, hands on your thighs, take a deep breath in, three, two, one, let's go, exhale, Maybe if you wanted to make this more challenging, don't increase the range, so don't come up any further, but try hold it up there. So when you exhale, hold, and back down. But when you're up there, try not to use holding your knees to keep you up there, it's your abs that are holding up there. So let's keep the fingertips off the knees. 
and back down. Okay, if the pause is too much, just work at a nice smooth pace. No pause at the top, up and down. Three, two, and one. Okay, next, extend your right leg out. Left leg stays bent. Deep breath in, and exhale. The entire upper body comes up to meet your right leg. So you're trying to do this as smooth as possible. You may see a little bit of momentum creeping in, but as long as you're not jerking that body right up. Four, three, Two, one, swap legs, right knee is now bent, point up towards the ceiling, left leg is straight, off you go. So a little bit of pressure down through the right leg into the floor to help you get up into that position, that top position. Four, three, two, and one. Really tough combo. So take a break, relax down, two knees up to the chest, a few deep breaths. Now, the good news is the abs are going to get a quick break. We're going to take the focus a little bit to the lower back and then the outside of the glute. So, our first exercise is going to be a reverse crunch. You'll be in this position. We've done a few different variations of this over the weeks. For this one, you've done this one before for sure. Toes are going to stay on the ground. Fingertips come to your temples and you're going to do a reverse sit up, a reverse crunch, like so. Up and down. You're effectively peeling your chest up off the floor and lowering it back down nice and smooth. That's your first exercise. From there, you're just gonna lie on your side. I like to rest my head on my arm, okay? And do leg abduction. Now the key here is to not touch the legs at the bottom. So you'll see I've left a gap, and I come up and down. And at the top of the movement, don't try to gain a few extra inches of height by opening the body backwards like this. Keep everything lateral so the two hips are stacked, two knees, two ankles. Straight up, straight down. Really good exercise for the outside of the glute. An area a lot of us are really, really weak in, okay? But we're starting with our reverse crunch. So 30 seconds, lying face down. Three, two, one, let's go. Peeling the body up. Centimeter by centimeter. Nice smooth movement. If you want to make it tougher, you could extend the hands out in front. Make the law of the lever a little bit more at play. Try to squeeze your glutes. Keep those toes touching the floor. Nearly there, folks. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Lying on your side. So no matter what side you go with, I'm lying on my right side, which means my left leg is going to work. We're going to go for 20 seconds each side. Okay, hips are stacked. Three, two, one. Let's go. Up, back down. Leave the gap at the bottom. So once that leg is off the floor or off your other leg, make sure it stays up. Toes always pointing forward. Remember what I said? You don't want to open up that leg. And peel back. We're trying to really isolate the outside of the glute. Glute medius, as it were. Four, three, two, and one. Take a second. I don't want you going home lopsided, so we're obviously swapping sides. Two legs stacked, ready, and off we go. Straight into it. Toes pointing forward. That's the best tip I can give you here. Do not let those toes point up towards the ceiling. Leave that gap down at the bottom. We're really trying to switch on the outside of the glute. Four, Three, two, and one. Super, okay? Not too bad a combination, but two exercises that target areas of the body that are really, really under-trained. Your lower back and the outside of the glutes. Okay, so we're lying face down again for our reverse crunch, like so. Three, two, one. 30 seconds, let's go. Up and back down. Nice and smooth. Don't worry too much about your range. You're not gonna get very high up off the floor with this one. And just keep a nice natural breath. I would usually breathe in on the way up because it actually helps you up a little bit by inflating those lungs. It's a more natural movement. Nearly there. Five, four, three, two, and one. Relax. Onto your side. Okay. This time all we're going to do is put in a little pulse at the top. So by, by pulse, this is what I mean. The leg comes up, drops an inch or two, up again, and down. Up, pulse, and back down. Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. Toes pointing forward, get your pulse all the way back to where it almost touches the other foot, but don't let it, okay? Do whatever you want with your head. If you wanna have it resting on your arm, by all means, go ahead. Or if it's not too much to ask for your neck, you can have it up. Keep that pulse, just a slight pulse at the top, and back down, three, two, one. Shimmy around, okay, opposite side. 
Get into position, two hips stacked, two knees stacked. Ready, and off we go. Up, get your pulse, don't forget. Back down, up. Second pulse, back down. In your own time, folks, there's no rush here. Make sure that movement is stemming from this area here, your glute medius. If you have resistance bands or any sort of weight you can add, like an ankle weight, really good way of targeting that glute medius area. Four seconds, three, two, and one. Brilliant, okay, let's shimmy back into this position, like so. Okay, just let abs, all the areas we've challenged so far, abs, glutes, lower back, I'll switch off. And we're gonna finish off with three exercises, okay? Now they're all focused on holds. Um, first two will be a side plank variation, which you might feel a little bit of the outside of the hips again because you fatigue that area. So we're gonna do a side plank on our left, a side plank on our right, followed by a kind of a plank challenge. You need a front plank just to finish off and we're gonna do different things with our hands. So, side plank to begin with. Two feet are stacked like so. Elbow and forearm lengthways along your mat. All we're gonna do is come up and hold. Over the previous weeks we've done movements, We've done kind of reps. All we're doing today is we're going to hold. So we're going to go for 20 seconds on round one. We're going to try to build up to 30 seconds for round two. Okay? So side plank for anyone who doesn't know, looks like this. Okay? If that's too hard, you can drop it down to be knees and elbow, or knees and forearm. Okay? 20 seconds, folks. Three, two, one. Up. Into position. So, shoulders are stacked. Now, by that I mean I haven't caved forward. I'm not too rolled back. Knees are stacked. Feet are stacked. So you're in this perfect lateral position. You could look down from up here, you just see this nice straight line. You wouldn't be able to tell one shoulder from the other. Keep holding, keep holding, fighting gravity the whole time. Three, two, one, relax. Pivot around, same idea. Take a second, get set up, feet stacked, knees stacked. Three, two, one, up you go. And we're holding. Okay, fighting gravity. Now you might find one side feels more comfortable, but one side can resist a little bit more. It's perfectly normal, depending on sports you do, uh, your lifestyle choices, everything you do can uh, contribute to kind of imbalances in the body. So if one side feels a little bit weaker than the other, don't be alarmed. Nearly there folks, three, two, and one, relax. Okay, not too bad, it's okay so far. Now we're gonna shimmy over into our front plank position. So depending on injuries, if you've got wrist problems, you can do this on your hands or your elbows. So you can be in this position, or you can be in this position, or sometimes, I like to point my fingers out to the sides and go a little bit wider, so it'll be kind of like this, a little bit friendlier on the wrist. So find what works for you, but then we're gonna try to take one thing off the ground at a time. Okay, so we're gonna go for 40 seconds, 10 seconds per arm, 10 seconds per leg. Alrighty, so get down into position, your choice of plank position. Three, two, one, set yourself up, wait till you're solid, and then I want everyone to lift their left leg off the ground. Ready, go, 10 seconds with the left leg up. Just slightly off the ground, it doesn't have to be super high. Let the rest of your body realize what's going on. Three, two, one, down. Right leg straight away off the ground. So you have three things touching the floor right now. Keep holding, keep holding. Four, three, two, one. Here it gets tough, right arm. Out in front I find is a little bit easier, balance wise. Try not to twist the entire body. Four, three, two, one, left arm, let's go. Challenge the rest of the body to keep stable. Try not to twist like this. Keep everything square to the floor. Four, three, two, and one. Return the knees to the mat. Shift your weight back and switch off. So quite a tough exercise, I realize that. So you may need to work off just doing your legs. The legs are a little bit easier. Um, if arms is not happening today, don't worry about it. You can do two batches of the legs or return to just a plank where all four things are on the floor. Okay, here we go, last round, we're nearly done folks. So let's go to our side plank position, two feet stacked, now we are gonna up it to 30 seconds. Don't feel under pressure to hold for the whole 30. If you want, you can do that in stages, hold for 10, drop, and come back up when you're ready. Okay, 30 seconds for those of you who can, three, two, one, up you go, hold. Go through your checklist. Ankles are stacked, knees are stacked, hips are stacked, shoulders are stacked. Keep the neck in a kind of neutral position, by that I mean, ideally it looks like this, and you're not trying to keep your neck or your head level, as you normally would carry it during the day. Pressure being spread out over the entire forearm, not just your elbow, so take some pressure with the palms and the fingers as well of the hand. Keep holding, going for the full 30. Five seconds, everybody. Four, three, two, gently down for one. Brilliant. Okay, pivot around. 
Second last exercise. Ready, 30 seconds. Get set up. Three, two, one, up. Hold, no movement today. Even if you can do some crazy things and twists, today we're just working off a hold. Sometimes people find the hold harder than doing all these twists. So let's work on it. Muscles are still getting really, really good focus. They're just being challenged to hold rather than to move. Really good implications for everyday life when you have to stand strong in certain positions or lift boxes, things like that. But also for sports when you're kind of bracing for a tackle. Nearly there, folks. Four, three, two, and one. Relax. All right, here we go. Last exercise. You know what it is. We're going to be in the front plank position. Um, we're either on our elbows. Some of you might be on your hands. Some of you might be in that wider kind of fingers pointing out to the side position. But we're all going to try to get each arm, each leg up for 10 seconds. That's the goal. Ready? Three, two, one. Here we go. Get set up. Let's start with the arms this time. Are we ready? Right arm, 10 seconds. Go. Out in front. Try and resist that big twist. Keep everything square to the floor, folks. Hold, hold, hold. Four, three, two, one. Straight into left arm. Let's do it. Keep holding. You can be doing this from the knees if you want. Just if you want to make a last minute change. Three, two, one. Right leg. Let's go. A little bit easier finishing with the legs. Hold, hold, hold. Keep the hips level. Four, three, two, one. Finish it. Left leg. Last 10 seconds. This is us. Finish now, folks. Hold four, three, two, and one. Return to the mat. Whew. Okay, so we finished with some pretty tough holes there. Hopefully, it's given you a few ideas uh, of ways you can challenge the abs and the core without even moving. Okay, you can get yourself into some creative positions and feel just as good a burn. Um, so, just two stretches for you today. First thing, if you're lengthways along your mat, I want your right leg out in front. So, into this position here. So let's start with the right leg because I'm going to have to talk you through something. First things first, I want you to shift the weight forward. Don't lean your upper body forward, just shift your entire body forward so you get this nice stretch at the top of your left leg. Once you've got that stretch in the hip, I'm going to bring in a complete over the top stretch like so. So lean over to the side and release. Okay, left leg goes out in front. I'll show you from this side, you can stay facing the same way. Left leg goes out in front. Lean forward, get your hip stretch. That stretch should now be in the top of your right leg. Once you're happy with it, lean over. Over to the side. Get a really good stretch from the armpit down into the ribs, into the abs, into the hips. And release. Okay, bring it back to center. Stay tall on your knees. Couple of twists just to loosen up. And then for those of you who might have, if, who are doing a few of those exercises on the wrists, just do a couple of circles with the wrists just to loosen them up. Shake them out. Alrighty, done. Awesome work, everyone. Um, so some tough exercises there. A lot of people find holds a lot more challenging than movement-based uh, exercises. So let us know how you got on. And by all means, scale the workout. And by that, I mean pause the video, take longer breaks, or reduce the time you're doing it for. If it was too easy, do the exact opposite. Do more reps, do more time. And maybe even take that workout and spend the next six to seven days working on it. And then by the time next Friday comes around, we'll have a fresh batch of exercises for you. Okay, so make sure you give Trinity Sport uh, a shout out on Facebook or Instagram or wherever you're following us. And uh, have a great day. See you all later. Thank you.